angels light to row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for May the 3rd through May the 9th. And of course, without further ado, we are getting right into your love bird bonus. Angels, you know what? Okay, angels, what are what's going on for Taurians or in beautiful, beautiful romantic bonds? Thank you, thank you. We have sexuality and a sleep. <laughs> Don't sleep on it, okay? Underneath the nighttime skies, fairies sing you lullabies. I feel like this is an exhausting week for the two of you, but don't forget to check in with each other in the intimacy department. Okay. All right. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy for Taurus, Taurians who are looking for love. Yes, yes, yes. Angels and guides, positive energy for Taurians, Taurus, <laughs> who are looking for love. Come on, angels. What are the messages for? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, Taurus, with love that is around you? Hmm. We have self-respect and friends. Yes, all the love your light extends, its reflection shown in chosen friends. I feel like there is a love, a romantic love that you are possibly interested in, but... It's kind of in the friend zone. You're feeling a bit, for, maybe you're putting someone in the friend zone or they're putting your, you in the friend zone this week. All right, now let's move on to your general message. Yes, yes, yes. Angels and guides, positive energy for Taurus. Yes, for seven little days. That is it. Let's go ahead and add a bit from Mm-hmm. My mama's deck. Angels, we're looking for joy. Yes. High vibrations. Yes, yes, yes. For Taurus. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Now, let's go ahead and add one from the dragon's deck. And remember, remember, these... You know what? Let's take it from the bottom. How about that? And, of course, we're going to turn it right side up. Now... Let's go ahead and top it off with the Vintage Eskimo deck, yes? Wow, angels, positive energy, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Taurus. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, so let's get right into this, shall we? The major theme for the week is the Hierophant card reversed with the Ten of Hearts, Seven of Diamonds, and Mystery. Hmm, Mystery. All right, so the High Priestess, there is something. Okay, are you telling a lie to yourself? Yeah, I'm wondering. There is something that you just don't want to take a look at. You're kind of pushed it way, way down. Yes, and it has to do with success. It has to do with all of the success around you. With the Seven of Diamonds, you're wondering, the mystery card, where is your success? You, where is my success, right? The Seven of Diamonds is saying, um, that's the magic money card, Taurus. And basically what that's saying is, don't go chasing the money, right? Let the money chase the you and I know that you already know this. So whatever, let's say you're, let's say you 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 build um, for a living. Let's say you're a carpenter and you build beautiful tables, beautiful beautiful wood tables. Okay, and you put your heart and your soul into these tables, and you chisel and you do this and you do that and you add this little nook if they have children, and they add that little nook if they have an extended family, and so on. And you just pour your heart and soul into it. Well, pouring your heart and soul into whatever this is that you're looking for success, it's that is what's going to bring the resources. That's what's going to bring the abundance. So 
the more you pour you, your love, your heart and soul into it, don't worry about the money. The money will come. You just keep pouring you into whatever it is that you are doing and you watch that money magic just fall in your lap. Okay. All right. Now let's look in the recent past. We have the page of swords with the nine of spades, diversify and the nine of spades. So in the recent past with the page of swords, you were thinking about something. You were thinking that something wasn't living up to your expectations with the nine of spades. I feel that you let it go. You tried something else and you let it go. Now that was in the recent past. Okay. Now in the middle of the week, we have the two of swords reversed with the three of clubs, the illusion and the 10 of diamonds. So in the middle of the week, you are, you will make up your mind about a creative endeavor. The illusion part is Will you make money at this? Will you, will you, will you? Will you, will you, will you? You're wondering, am I being foolish? Yeah, that's what you're thinking. Am I being foolish? Let's keep going. Let's keep going, okay? All right, now by the end of the week, we have the Six of Swords with the Jack of Clubs and the Shine card with the Six of Diamonds. So I feel like by the end of the week, you're emotionally thinking, you're emotionally moving away from any thought that is unsettling. Anything that you feel is not at your standard, you're, you're, you're stepping up and you're moving more into something that's going to be long, it's going to have longevity, it's going to uh, last quite some time. It feels like you've been doing a lot of things here and there and here and there, but by the end of the week, all of that you're going to kind of move away from. In the middle of the week, you're wondering, yeah, I've made up my mind, but there's still worry. You're, am I fooling myself? I hear you in the middle of the week. Am I fooling myself? By the end of the week, you're letting all of those thoughts go and you're thinking, okay, all right, I need to, I need to, it's almost like I'm going to say, I need to do better. I need to know better. I need to do more research. I need to figure out what it is that's going to take me into the future and then go about your business, making that happen full speed ahead with no illusions. Okay. All right. All right. Now let's take a peek at your bonus on your bonus. You have the two of pentacles reversed with the chariot card. The Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Diamonds, moderation. All right, so your bonus is telling me, yes, you are finally making up your mind. You are ready to move forward with the Chariot card. This is all about you. This is all about your new beginnings. And this is a new beginning on how you feel. This is a new beginning on your resources, a new beginning, maybe a new project, a financial project, or something of that nature. Take it slow, even though you want to hit the road running and take it slow. This is going to be long. This is not one of those hit it and quit it. This is not one of those, um, you know, start a project, end a project. Start, you know, this is going to be long term. So if you need to add, you know, stop, shine it up, do it a little bit different, tweak it. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're going to do. So it's almost like you've been keeping secrets from yourself about your success. You've been doing a lot of different things and now you're, it's almost like you were, you were in your own delusion and you know, it's almost like you're waking up this week. You're waking up into what you really want to do. Sometimes we go our entire life and we're doing many, many, many things. I'm guilty of that. We do many, 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 many things and then all of a sudden we figure out, hey, this is my jam and I'm going to do this for a very long time and I'm going to want to do it the best that I can because I know that this is my jam. All that other stuff, yeah, I was good at it. Yeah, I did good. But this is my calling. This is what I need to do. Okay. All right. So I, so when you get that, when you get that aha moment and you let all of that stuff go so that you can move forward into your jam. Okay. You're going to do it with style, with class, with charisma, and no one is going to stand in your way. No one's going to 
you know, take anything from you. You're just going to put your crown on and do your thing. Okay, so I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.